What's going on guys? My name is Gabriel and welcome to another week of Tech I Want. So without further ado, let's jump in. First product of the week is the Yaw 2, which is the motion simulator chair and, well, smart chair. The cool thing about this is that it has a dynamic range of motion. So not only can it do 360 degrees, but it also has pitch motion that really goes up and down up to 70 degrees. It also does roll motion that does even 40 degrees. So it's really, really, really dynamic in what you, whatever you're gonna do. So whether you're playing video games, whether you're doing work, one of the things that they highlight is that you can actually go to sleep and take a nap and it is actually calibrated to optimize, let's say your naps, your workflow, your game flow. So that's really, really cool. We'll provide the link in the description so that you can check out their Kickstarter page because there's a lot of cool things in here that you can check out. So hit that link and check it out. But let's move on to the next product. The second product of this week is the Anten, which are smart headphones. So one of the cool things that this headset does analyzes kind of your mood and what you're going through, your environment, everything that you're just experiencing at that moment and curates music, sounds, whatever it may be to that specific moment so that you can heighten your reality. Um, not only that, but it also calibrates when you're not focusing, when you're most focused and lets you know Maybe this is when you need to take a break. This is when you should start working. This is when you should take a water break. It's all done through these headphones. So that is ridiculously amazing. And it's all calibrating based off your brain waves. So the, whatever the brain does, there's electrical things in there and your brain does amazing things. The main thing is that it helps you build a routine. So let's say you have a smartwatch and that's calibrating all of your workout information, whatever it may be. This thing helps you create a daily routine. So whenever you're most focused, whenever you're not focused, it creates a schedule for you based off your everyday like routine. It optimizes your day so that you can get the most out of your day. So honestly, this is a revolutionary product. This is really gonna change the game of how we live our lives. Just how the iWatch is changing the dynamics of how we live our day to day. This is gonna add a whole nother layer to that. Yeah, we really hope that this company succeeds because they are doing amazing work. Uh, be sure to check them out link in the description and see what they got to offer. And honestly, my personal opinion, back them because this, this product is next gen. Let's move on to the next product, guys. All right. The third product of this week is the FingerBot Plus, which is a manual touching machine that does not sound right, but uh, it pretty much automates everything within your house that is not automated already by voice command. Um, so let's say like a light switch, a button, whatever it may be that needs someone to actually physically touch it, this robot does it for you. So with voice command, it has a toggle that actually pushes or comes back holds a button, whatever it may be, um, and automates the functions inside your house for you. This thing is $25, so you can set up an entire robotic system within your house so that you can turn on your lights, turn on the blender, turn on, let's say, your old air conditioning system because some people don't have Nest and can't toggle that through their phone. So they can use this as to use all these functions at home without you actually physically being there. So for $25, that's a steal and you can automate so many things inside your house. If you're a parent, you can automate the lights within your children's bedroom. So let's say it's 9 p.m. and you want them to go to sleep. You could automate the light switch to turn off at 9 p.m. And then if you hear sounds after that time, well... You could automate a really loud noise. Oh, like I'm gonna kick your ass. <laughs> like play the play a recording <laughs> go to sleep so the name of this product is as simple as a product it's a finger bot plus <laughs> backers or whoever get in their comment section let them know what you think of their name because i'm also curious what everyone else thinks of their name if they can do a better name i want to hear your suggestions so aside from that that is it from finger bot moving forward thank you finger bot backing is not buying guys remember Backing is not buying. Backing a crowdfunding campaign pretty much is investing in someone's dream, someone's moonshot, let's say. It's not like going to the grocery store, or your local market and getting something right there and then on demand. So what we do at Tech I Want is we pretty much give you products that we believe will be successful, but in the name of crowdfunding, 
not all products, not all campaigns will be successful. So what we suggest for you guys, act smartly, have patience and enjoy the ride. All right, guys, so now it's time for our last segment, tech news. All right, guys, so this week in tech news, Apple is back and they have added more to their privacy features in their latest iOS 14.5 update, which is causing a lot of controversy within the marketing and advertising realm, but leaving a lot of users to be very, very happy because now, well, their privacy is now back in their own hands. If you want to read more, link below. Now, moving on, we have Intel's big chip shortage. So what's going on within the Intel world? Well, within COVID, there was a lot of workers that were not able to supply the amount of chips that were needed for auto manufacturers. So now there's a chip shortage that, well, the CEO of Intel says will last more than two years. What does that leave the US? Where does that leave the economy of the US? Well, we'll see. So link below, check out more. Now to our last article, we have Jeff Bezos. <laughs> Oh, that man. That man. So Jeff Bezos is currently protesting the decision that NASA took to specifically fund SpaceX for the lunar mission that will happen in 2024. They were supposed to have a joint mission, both Jeff Bezos space company called Blue Origin with along SpaceX, but now it's only SpaceX. So now Bezos is protesting and well, there's some tweets going on and it's pretty funny and you should check it out. So link below. That's it for tech news this week, guys. Be sure to hit the like and subscribe so that you can pretty much validate that we have the sauce, they have the juice and there's nothing else to say. The juice is temporary. Juice is temporary and we are forever. Take care, guys. <laughs>